<coughs> Alright, so I'm making a new video. This is how I'm going to complain about the new map. So the new map is definitely bigger than uh, all the other maps before, if I'm correct. I think, uh, I can't remember what map it was. It was pre-Steam, the, the first map. Oh, I mean, the last map before he went to Steam, I think that could rival the size of this map. I'm not sure. I think this one's actually a little bit bigger. Either way, <clears throat> again, like all the other maps he's ever made, even back in Dead Zone, back in pre-pre-alpha, of course, there's only one town, and it was actually quite logical in a way. It kind of didn't have houses, but it was an okay town. <clears throat> it it's just that uh mm, <clears throat> it's just the fact that they don't make sense it's like a few houses and that's it or a few houses maybe a pharmacy maybe a cafe it's doesn't make sense i think pei could actually be a town i'm not sure i think it has a grocery store and such i think pei would actually be a proper town <clears throat> Uh, Ontario would be a proper town if I'm correct. Quebec would kind of be a town, but it wouldn't last long. But <clears throat> the towns are just so illogical. They aren't big enough to be actual towns. They're more like villages. And they, like for modern day, I don't know much about Canada myself. But I'm pretty sure in Canada they have much better towns than what's portrayed in game. Uh, but like I remember a big uh, town that a lot of people like to go to back before Steam. It had a few houses, a gas station, a pharmacy, and that was it. Like it was a, a horrible, a horrible area. <clears throat> <coughs> Because this was before you could chop trees down, like you had to spend like two, three hours farming materials to build a base, which I never did. I just built chests on top of a building, which in this case, actually, I just uh, built chests uh, outside the city and like back of a road. <clears throat> uh, either way, back to what I was saying. Another reason I just like unturned the fact that you have no value to your life. It's like for everyone else, I've seen this several times. It's like they'll have nothing, they'll just try and attack me if I have something, like even just a t shirt. It's like, really? It's like there should be something that makes you value your life. I was thinking maybe having a long respawn time or have a good. Like maybe 30 seconds, a minute, maybe even a few minutes. But, of course, that could get pretty annoying if you're killed by a zombie or killed for a different reason. Because, like, if you just spawned in and all of a sudden someone shot you and you died, like, that wouldn't be fun. Another reason I just, like, unturned, the unrealistic gun damage. Now, of course, balance is key to a game. This is a survival game, so balance isn't as big of a deal. If we're talking a game like Counter-Strike, a game like Dota 2, League of Legends and such, we're talking about Team Fortress 2 and such, yeah, those games have to have balance. A game like DayZ, a uh, <clears throat> game like Unturned and such, no, they don't necessarily need to be balanced. Because... <clears throat> They just don't. They're survival games. It's like you're supposed to survive against whatever they throw at you. They could give you like this zombie that'll take a million headshots to kill, and you're supposed to survive that, or you're gonna die trying. <clears throat> Either way, there's pretty much only one gun that apparently spawns on the new map: SD Colt. What's my problem with it? The Colt is garbage, I'm not even kidding you. It's a three headshot kill on players. I killed one player so far, with a gun at least. It took three headshots to kill him, and I was actually kind of lucky because I hit every single shot. 
But like honestly, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to know if I took an M1911 and shot you in the head, you'd probably be dead. Of course, it's not impossible, you could survive. But let's say zombie apocalypse, I shot you in the head, you're going to die. Because either you're going to die from starvation, or I mean dehydration, you're going to die from the gunshot itself, or maybe a zombie's going to eat you or something. Like People that do survive getting shot in the head usually do so because they have medical attention. But most people just die. Like It's a very high chance of dying, from what I've heard at least. <coughs> The thing like the Colt should be a one shot at certain ranges. Of course, pistols lose their effectiveness the further away you get, and like twenty twos are pretty weak. Like those are a good example. I think a twenty two rifle has the power to penetrate the skull once if it's at close range. Other than that, it really can't do it. But when we're talking about like assault rifles and such, those things are gonna hit you once and put you down. I've never gotten shot myself. I've gotten shot by uh, BB guns and such. And it's not a good feeling, trust me. But th that still hurt. Like, I noticed it. I imagine getting shot by a high powered rifle or an assault rifle, even a handgun. That's probably going to put you down. I mean, you might get hit, you'll feel the surge of pain, your adrenaline will get going, and you'll stay up. But for the most part, it's not going to be very pretty. And getting shot in a zombie apocalypse in real life is devastating to your survival. Like, you have to heal, you have to worry about infection. There's, like, so much more you have to worry about other than that. But, of course, we can't be super realistic now. That would definitely ruin the game. Getting shot once and not having a chance of surviving would ruin it. Unless you're, like, some hardcore survivor, then you would enjoy it. Like I've said before, I enjoy realism in these games, but the Colt damage and the damage of other rifles, like, it ruins it. I kind of like the fact that sniper rifles, at least so far, require a headshot to kill, because that does feel like it balances them out. But, to be honest, it's not very realistic. I think guns like the Timberwolf and other long rifles, making them at least a uh, headshot to kill would balance them rather well. They would only make good shots effective with this. But, like, I just hope the damage gets restructured. Because right now the damage is like a War Z style. And if you don't know what War Z is, it's a pretty shitty game. The problem with it is that pistols are useless and assault rifles are what you use. It's like I saw gameplay from a few people. It was always they had an assault rifle and a melee weapon. That was their two weapons that they used. Why? Because pistols are garbage. And honestly... If this game's supposed to still be following real realism a bit... Then the towns fail, the map generally fails, but that it's a decent map so far. And the fact that guns, especially pistols, do so little damage is also a failure. I mean, I can see getting shot in the arm and leg, like that wouldn't be really effective for killing someone. But when you put a bullet to their head, that kind of should put them down. Another thing is how little loot spawns, so what's causing this, I don't know, but I've searched towns and towns and barely found anything. Even in single player, like, usually I have no problems finding stuff in single player, but it's the same way. So before I end the video, let's talk about some good things, the size of the map. Uh, the size of the map is actually pretty good. It leaves room for expansion. There are some other places to visit. There are some random towns. There's even a quarry. And there's stuff up north, which I have not gone to yet. <clears throat> uh, new buildables, which is going to be planned. Which is going to be 
nice. Like, the new buildables, like chests and such, like, I've been waiting for that. I haven't been building until those are going to be added. The new cars, like, the cars are going to be much more valuable.